Boys, come here. Come on. Come here. Look. Do you see it? Coda, do you see it? Coda, they found you. You're the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And no, you're not going to go swimming with that dog across the lake. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper! There's like no energy in this. Super Cooper Sunday! There it is. This is what I like to see. Nice job, boys. A little bit of pre-dinner wrestling. Burn off all those calories you're about to consume. It's 5.45 p.m. The sun is almost set. Today, we are gonna get an insight into the life of these two majestic, tough, smart creatures. <laughs> you just had to be smart. <laughs> this right here is a nifty little indoor security camera that has 4K HD footage, night vision, and motion tracking. It's actually supposed to be pretty good, and it was fairly cheap. So we bought eight of them. What are you doing? What are you up to? We have these cameras so we can keep an eye on the pets when we may not be watching. We can figure out what happens. We can get inside the mind of the chaos. Where's, where's Bella, do you know? No, because I totally thought she was on top of the stairs too. She's been flying up and down the stairs all night. I assume she's, oh. oop. I just heard a door open. There it goes. That's, Cat that's. <laughs> So yeah, these things are awesome. We've tried them out and like test them a little bit already. We've got some fun video ideas. We've done like what do our dogs do when they're home alone in the past. I think these will let us make like better versions of that. Obviously we've got a cat now so we can try that as well. I also wanna see what happens at night when we're not watching and I think we're gonna start with Coda. Frequently described as majestic, Great Pyrenees are big, immensely strong mountain dogs. These steadfast guardians usually exhibit a zen-like calm but they can quickly spring into action and move with grace and speed to meet a threat. Great Pyrenees were bred centuries ago to work with peasant shepherds and herding in the Pyrenees Mountains, the natural border between France and Spain. The dog's job was to watch the flock and deter predators, whether wolves, bears, or livestock rustlers. This guy lives in Florida inside in the air conditioning. He's got it a little bit easy and we're gonna find out what happens throughout the night when he's guarding this house. Are you up to the challenge? I don't think you'll have to worry about bears, but we'll find out. So first up as a part of his nightly routine, you guys know he's got diabetes insipidus, which means basically his brain tells him he's thirsty all the time. He's already falling asleep right now, but he's right next to the fridge, which is his way of politely asking for a bit of water. Go on, let's get some water. Let's get some, come on. Let's get some water. As we get deeper into the night, we try to take Coda outside to go potty more and make sure he gets more water because the more he has before bedtime, the more just relaxed he is and able to sleep without constantly thinking about, oh my gosh, have I had enough water the way his brain makes him feel. Coda, let's go potty. Good boy. Nice job. Good boy. After a few potties, eventually we get dinner. Good boy. Obviously, Coop really loves this time of night. 12 bowls of water later. It's about, about time for bed. Yep. Take uh, two steps to your right. Oh, he just got out. He was in the love sack. He's already I, upstairs in bed once. I see you, little buddy. Are you tired? Are you ready for bed? We're going up very soon. If you guys don't know, if you don't know Coda very well, he is very timid and he is very scared of the stairs. We are actually gonna be teaching him the stairs. We think it might have something to do with the fact that you can see through them. So we're gonna try that here very soon. But as of currently, oh. We added the camera to the mix. Usually it's like water straight outside and, the, and then bed. 
We had a small accident, that's okay. Apologies for the emergency there. As we were saying, we do water and potty, and then the next part of bedtime is brushing our teeth. <laughs> As you guys can see, they are both very big fans. Imagine if our toothpaste smelled like beef and tasted it's like beef. So gross smelling. Desmopressin. For dogs, who just can't tell when they're not thirsty anymore. We get this in like a, a nasal spray is technically what it is, but we put it in an eyedropper and it goes straight in his eyes. This is direction from our vet. One, two, three. Good boy. He always takes his medicine so nicely. Now he knows it gets water. <laughs> one last little hit of water to end the night. One last hit, Coda, one last little bowl. Okay, that was, that was the camera. There you go. Welcome. Coda, that's our friend Rami. That's our neighbor. We like him. He's the one. He's the one that. Saw, he's the one that saw Bella get dropped off. He's a friend. He's a friend. Those, those are his. Those are his friends. His friends are out in the driveway. They're leaving. It's okay. It's it's fine. We're we're all safe. What are you doing up there? Do you want to go to bed? <laughs> Coda, you be a good boy. You protect the house. We're going to keep an eye on you. We've got seven cameras set up, so you, you be good. No naughtiness. We're going to set the alarm. All right. The house is yours. Good boy. You can come up if you want. Come on. Coda, come on. No. I honestly don't even think he would like it. Even if he could, I, I think he, he kind of prefers to be to be ruling everything down here. So, we'll see you in the morning, buddy. Is, is, he, is he playing by himself? So in the mornings, I'm almost always up first. Cody gets like two parties. When I come downstairs, he gets really excited. And then when Chelsea comes downstairs, he gets really excited. Here we go. Hey buddy. Good boy. How are you doing? How did you sleep? You a good boy? 
Maybe a little bit tired. Oh, okay, yep, there it is. Let's go potty so we don't have an accident like last night. Good boy. Did you protect the house? I can't wait to review the footage. It's gonna be, oh, shoot. I gotta turn the alarm off. Hold on. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good boy, good boy, we're going potty. We didn't go potty in the house. That's a good dog. Ooh, two, two feet on the front step. Do you see that? Look at that bravery. This is a very interesting strategy, Coop. Look at that prime time distraction. Poor Coda, that's so sad and awkward. So there you guys have it. That is Coda's night and morning routine. Next up, Coop would probably go potty because Coop always comes down with Chelsea later on after Coda and I have been up. And then both the boys will get breakfast, which is sometimes more of a lunch, depending on when Coop gets here. Isn't that right, buddy? You, you like to sleep in, unlike, unlike this one. I'm really excited to see what he did all night. I guess uh, it's, it's kind of weird because you guys know what happened before we know. So we're gonna go review the footage, get it all edited together and put it in in the segment that you guys have already watched. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you wanna see next. We've got tons of these cameras that work autonomously so we can record anything. If you guys have any ideas or anything you wanna see, be sure to leave it down in the comments and uh, we'll make it happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are gonna catch you guys later. It's time for Coop to go potty. It's time for Coda to love. Peace out.